and to welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono blue legends. So, right, we have a new deck that we're going to be trying out here. The point of this deck is to take full advantage of Mox Amber. You know, Mox Amber was a card that whenever it was previewed, everybody was going crazy over. They're like, oh man, they printed another Mox in Standard. Uh, this is going to be awesome, and everybody had high hopes for this card. And, you know, as as you know, it's done basically nothing. It did see a little bit of play in some Jeskai control decks, uh, you know, Jeskai Planeswalker decks at the beginning of the War of the Spark standard format, but that's kind of about it. So what we're doing here is we're, we're kind of building around Mox Amber. Uh, we have a whole lot of three mana Planeswalkers that we can play Mox Amber right after, as you can see here. Um, and we also have our four mana planeswalkers that also work well with Mox Amber. So we have we have all these all these legends here that uh, that you know we we play them and then we get Mox Amber. Now the reason why Mox Amber hasn't really taken off is because if if you're waiting until after your turn three or your turn four, you know after those turns, so you know you're really waiting until turn four or turn five to take full advantage of Mox Amber. By that by that time, having the one extra mana usually isn't, uh, you know, super valuable. You know, it's, it's not uh, something that's usually like backbreaking or or game winning or anything like that. However, in order so like in order to make that mana really valuable, you need to be casting something that you would not have been casting on turn four or turn five without it, and something that is very valuable. And that's why we have that's where we have our Karn's Temporal Sundrings and Nexus of Fates where if we can play you know, these things in the mid game and then use Mox Amber to ramp into these things early, these cards will take over the game and you know, like really let us get ahead um, and everything. So that's kind of the, the goal of our deck um, is to kind of turbo charge in these spells uh, and see how it goes. Uh, Kefnet of course works amazing with these extra turn spells. Uh, if you play Kefnet with four mana and then you play and then you untap and like you reveal Karn's Temporal Sundering, you just get, you know, two extra turns, you know, you get to cast it for two mana less and everything. If you play Kefnet on four and then would reveal a Nexus, you wouldn't quite have the five yet, unless you play the Mox Amber, though. That'll help us get there. Uh, how our deck wins is we are just going to be uh you know, basically activating these planeswalkers a ton. We can either make four fours with Mu Yanling. We could be attacking with Kefnet with taking extra turns and doing the four damage with Kefnet. Uh, the the long long game we could be playing by having Jace uh, mill over two two of our top cards every every turn and draw a card and then uh, try to uh, just uh, shorten our library up to to look for another Nexus kind of thing. And then, of course, we have the Ascantas and the Narsets that get to minus and look for more extra turn spells. Uh, so, yeah, will this deck work? Who knows? We're going we're gonna to find out. Um, and uh, let's give it a try. So this is a, a new deck that we put together today. I haven't played it too much, testing it wise. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and play on over to the in the traditional Constructed queue here. We'll, we'll see. We'll put it in in our queue here and see how it does. See if we can win five. See if we get our five win dream. Let's go to our profile. Let's change. Let's see. Who do we, who's a, a blue planeswalker? Jace. Of the mind. What else would we have? Dovin? No, we don't want Dovin. All right, let's go with Jace. Choose our deck. Mono blue legends. This one looks pretty cool. Yeah, I liked the Is It Dreams deck yesterday. The Is It Dreams deck was a lot of fun to play. Uh, Drawn from Dreams is is definitely a fun card to play and everything. So yeah, I liked I liked that deck. Yeah, we get some Moo Yanling here. Hmm, no lands. One land. Ugh. If we knew the top card was a land, we would keep it. But there's no scry here. Let's go to five. Yeah, I decided not to play Karn. I, you know, I certainly was looking at Karn for the first iteration of the deck. Decided to go away from Karn. Um, what are we getting rid of? 
definitely Kasmina. It's just, what's the next card? Are we going to get rid of the Temporal Sundering? Yeah, I guess we have to. Karn could be better than Kesmina, possibly. The 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 kind of problem with Karn is it doesn't Karn doesn't turn on Mox Amber. Because Mox Amber has to add a color, so you need a colored spell. What do we have? Rootbound Crag? Let's keep this. Keep an open mind. Hmm. We just want to draw lands. Hopefully that's all we do is draw some lands. If we can... I really wish I could, you know, Narset minus for a land. They, like, you know, this is being the elemental deck. They don't, like, kill super fast, right? So I'm hoping we can have a little bit of time here. Unfortunately, we do not want them hitting lands off Risen Reef because that just speeds them up. Hone your prowess. Love it. If only we didn't have a temple. Ugh. So yeah, getting the Mox Amber in play so that if we do hit Nexus of Fate here with the Kefnet, we get to play it. Oh, Johnson, did you just sub? Yeah, there was. I don't think there was a notification. I didn't see one. Oh, it, yeah. It, okay, it went through. Did I just miss it? I don't think the notification ever came up on string on screen. That is true. If I yeah, if I would have minus yeah, I should have minus here first because yeah, yeah, I'll have to remember that, that I could minus and find uh, Mox Amber because if I would have minus, I would have found Mox Amber. Then I could have played Temple. There we go. I'm putting it up on. There's no notification, so I'm I'm redoing that notification. So there's a notification. Now I get some hype votes in the chat. There we go. Uh, where do you submit donation deck, Oslin? You can you can do it here. You know you can just send put the link into chat here. You can send it to me on Discord also. Either one. Uh, yeah, reveal field of ruin. Of course we're revealing. What do you think this is? Target a player. Uh, me. Target permanent. That thing. Awesome. All right, so we could be going Rivers Rebuke in this kind of matchup. They try to play a whole bunch of like you know non-land permanents, and we put them all back in their hands. I don't know; they're slower. I guess we have to be worried about them having counter magic. Nah, deck's perfect. <clears throat> the 
the omniscience combo in the sideboard. Ooh, flood of flood of tears omniscience. I like the temples here in this this kind of deck because you know like temples help us find extra turn spells and stuff or help us find like whatever planeswalker we need or things like that. Uh, you know, it was it is awkward when you play them when you already have like the extra turn spell. You know, like that specific scenario was a little awkward there, but oh well. Narset being able to find an extra land drop is pretty nice though with Mox Amber. That is really nice. Hmm. Depending on how we draw here. I mean, if we if we draw our top end, this is this is nice. I like having Sahili to help protect us. You know, with the you know, I really like Sahili Mox Amber, but is this worth keeping without anything else above it? Probably not. I don't know. We do need land drops. I mean, I guess this is six lands. Let's we'll ship it. Ugh. I guess we'll just keep six. You know, blue kitty. Yeah, Ugin could be a sideboard card for sure. This could be could be a pretty decent Ugin deck. Not a good draw. Good draw. Temple, you're supposed to scry away the Sahili and give me the mox. Um, I'm not sure exactly what Esper should be doing against Bant midrange. They probably, I mean, you can be going, like, I think, I think Esper decks are going to just have to be changing in general. I don't think that they have, like, enough sweepers and, and everything. I think they are going to have to be changing with... Like I don't, I don't think that basically I don't think Esper decks really compete very well with Risen Reef as constructed. Exactly how to change, I don't, I don't have the exact answers for you. Sahili does work well with Mox Amber also because we can turn we can turn one of these servos like into a Mox Amber for a turn. It does it does destroy our Mox Amber because you know they're legendary, but if we like need that extra little jump of mana for a turn, we can we can do it. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. The mind is a tempest that can be controlled or unleashed. All right, we get some Mu Yanling voice lines in. The sky is my domain. Yeah, Chandra Tribal's good. Yeah, we uh, we've had some good success with it before. We just there's just one kind of deck that's difficult for us is the Risen Reef 
like these risen reef decks are are tough for chandra tribal because the six mana chandra minus ability doesn't deal damage to elementals and so like the the risen reef nissa kind of stuff is tough and that's what we are getting paired against a lot of that today <laughs> you have the subtlety of rock Yeah. Yeah, they are dead. It's better than having a plan. Basically, anything. Mm -hmm. We haven't played against friend. any of these elemental decks that haven't drawn Risen Reef yet. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think that's happened. Them not having Risen Reef. Good old draw four there. So we need a land to start going with the Nexus of Fates. Actually, no. No, we're just dead. Yeah, we're just dead. That's why I don't really like Saheeli. Let's see this game. Saheeli just doesn't do anything. Yeah, Chandra makes two one ones plus draw four cards. See, the, the move plays defense and everything. Do you think they intended Risen Reef to be this meta warping, or do you think they made a mistake? The ties that bind us all. Um, I mean, it's... The thing is, is... We're in like the very first week of standard, basically. There hasn't really been any events or anything yet, and people are still taking time. Whenever you have like the new new toys like this kind of thing, um, you know, people haven't really had time to like really build anti risen reef stuff yet. Basically, it it takes some time. So it's you know definitely it's very very good and it's very splashy right now. But will it be like that all the time? I don't know. We'll we'll see if if the metagame can react. We'll see. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Of, I don't know of any card that's yet yeah, super effective against Risen Reef because because you, you're right. It it always draws a card, but then you have to kill it. You know, so after it replaces itself, you still have to use a removal spell on it because otherwise, all of their other like everything else draws lots of cards. Also, um, it's not like removal is that effective against it because you are trading down or like you're losing out on on card advantage, I suppose. But just so just going over the top of it, like that's why. Cards like Nexus um, are coming back to being a little favorable. Not not necessarily like in, in my kind of janky-ish deck here, but I'm just talking about like in general. Um, it's much it's much much better than uh, in general. It's a lot better than Rogue Refiner. And we saw Rogue Refiner get banned. Anyway, just had a resub there. King J, thank you so much for that resub. 
saying, Hey Todd, I've been having fun with the stream. Also wanted to ask your opinion on a Johnny's Pride Mate and ad a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants on the Esper Flyers deck from a few days ago. I, I mean, I, I do love me some Ajani Adversary of Tyrants. I'm not sure about Pride Mate in that deck. But I do love me. Do love me some Adversary of Tyrants. Pride Mate, uh,. I don't know, would be a blocker, I suppose. Do they ever have games where they don't have Risen Reef? Is that is that ever a thing? We just like play a game they don't have Risen Reef. All right, thanks, Oslin. All right, we'd love to draw Mox Amber here. Or mine. Let's think this. Love to draw Mox Amber. Because then we get to start going crazy next turn if we draw Mox Amber. It's unfortunate. They just play play a land, put a counter on Risen Reef, and kill my Jace. Uh, never mind. That was a great turn for them. Well, that's a great turn for them. Well, now Mox Amber doesn't help us anymore. The past, present, and meditate and prepare. So, of course, we need a we need a legendary creature or planeswalker to actually be on the battlefield to cast the temporal sundering. What a hand. And no one is telling me what to do. Now we have an emblem. Oh, looks like <laughs> someone's getting a little sweaty. Man, what a what a hand. This Overwhelming. my victory. I don't, I don't really know how I'm beating this. I'm just not. I'm just not beating this.
my Jace dying there with you know the Omnath. I will not give was up. brutal. And do minus one prevent all damage to, um, by emblems this turn or your next turn. from this. This is taking too long. Let's go to the next one. I, I'm not beating the, the Chandra emblems. I do certainly wish they would have the Risen Reef trigger speed up some. With all like the, with all like the May reveal, and then like it just pops up. You have to click OK, and it's it's a very slow card. But yeah, that was just an awesome, awesome hand for them. I was feeling pretty good about it whenever we played the Jace and had like the two extra turn things. I was honestly feeling pretty good. It's exactly what our deck wants to do, but We're just Omnath and then Chandra emblems. They got us. All right, really glad we got the Kefnet. Kefnet's one of our best cards. Kefnet's our best attacker, of course. definitely be bad for me putting the, the land over there. It does help start getting the Azkanta flipped. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Yes, playing blue-white and playing Teferi's would make the deck better, yes. Fury will only lead you astray. Thoughtfulness before action. You get you get actual removal in white.
All right, getting him out of counter spells. That's good. Let's see if we can somehow get this Kefnet to resolve. They have two cards left. Mm. That's unfortunate. Before, want to play before they start, you know, drawing all the other cards with the uh, Spectral Sailor watched. and everything. Prove your skills, and I can teach you even more. Do not challenge a raging river. Okay, perfect. I don't want to draw a land here, honestly. It's a matter of give and take. Yeah, get Narset in here too. I have practiced. I have just the trick for this. All right, please just don't draw a counter spell here. They have two draw steps with their draw step plus their Spectral Sailor. Spectral Sailor. So they have two draw steps. Hopefully, they don't find a, a counter spell. We can start doing our thing. Such Admittedly, my deck is, of course, weak to counter spells. Just hoping that's not one. And it will offer assistance. Let's try this. Hmm. Guess I should always be casting Nexus of Fate first. So you want to play next you want to cast Nexus of Fate first because then it shuffles back in and gives you another chance to draw it. And yeah, waiting waiting like casting the Nexus on their turn doesn't make sense when they have Spectral Sailor, because then they get to just draw another card to see if they you know, they'd have like the mana to draw another card to like even if I do it on their upkeep, um, where they could try to find um try to find counter magic. This isn't over until we figure out. That's true. The Nexus isn't legendary, so like now I can't cast these things. The sky is my domain. But if if we were winning this game, we needed that to to resolve. If we were gonna win this game, I think we would have won this if if that resolved. Honestly, like if they if they did not have the counter spell there. They didn't top deck it. We were going to be winning this game. I don't really know what our options are here now. I don't think we have any. I'm brilliant, so do try to keep up. Join my cause. I 
I don't think the stars need to align to get for us to get our combo going. Making this deck though, after everybody today decided to just play tons of counter spells, we're just is really it's kind of not a good idea because today I guess it's just the counter spell day. Everybody's just playing counter spells all over the place. Are ruined. And that is a, a weakness of my deck. So yeah, I mean, I guess we do have to just, you know, I'm a little stubborn. I, I didn't want it to be blue-white with with Teferi's and everything. But I guess I guess that's what we really just have to do is just play play blue-white, play Teferi's. And then, yeah, you, with Blue White, you get Urza's Ruinous Blast for the Riz, Risen Reef decks to exile all their elementals. It's not what I wanted to be doing with the deck, but looks looks like maybe that's what we need to do. I don't I don't know if there's really room for treasure maps. You don't, you're not going to take out temples for treasure maps. Like you need, you need land drops. I honestly thought that we would do better against the, that Teamer Elemental deck. Like that game three, I thought I really thought that we were going to be winning game three. Omnath and Chandra beat me up pretty bad though. Unfortunate card I could really use, but I need land. Hmm. Well, one drop with Cure, Obsession, and Counter Spell. It's kind of tough to beat. This battle to your record of bad decisions. There are many who have turned weak. Alright, Dovin's pretty nice. Bleh.
Dovin does make their instants and sorceries cost one more. Yeah, that's like that's all we've played against today, or either like you know, like mono blue or blue green creature decks with lots of counter spells. Just been all counter spells all day today. Bow to the howling wind. Hmm. Give, give me that Mox Amber back, please. The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. The sky is my domain. Oh, right. Mu Yanling says the creature loses flying. I forgot about that part of Mu Yanling, honestly. I forgot about that. I honestly forgot about that part. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. Oh, right. I guess I need to attack first. <laughs> yeah, not, not the best order for me. Not entirely incompetent. Chances they don't have any counter spells over there. Zero percent. All right, I'm going to retry this. I want to play this deck a little bit more and learn some more about it. Bell Pierce is in here. Would I rather have... Do I even want Bleak of Eye main? Yeah, no, yeah, let's, let's go with this. All 
All right, one more interaction there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and restart this league. Try this again. Yeah, Spell Pierce is really good with, with Mox Amber, for sure. So I don't know I don't know if I'm going to actually be bringing in some of those other cards we had in our sideboard. So let's just get some Spell Pierces in here. Okay, I don't I don't know how to do that, Dirk. I I guess I could look to try to figure that out later. We'll see how we do against an aggro deck. Holding on to Mox Amber in case we draw Sahili, or we can go Sahili then Mox Amber. And plus, Mox Amber doesn't do anything right now, so there's not really a reason to play it. All right, so vampires. Yes, I'm playing Temples to Scry to keep us from flooding out and everything and to help our draw steps. Yeah, there's a, there's been a lot of cards printed that spells can't be countered, but it's just like for that turn, there's a lot of like instants. Uh, in, in varying degrees that are, are are basically that in different colors red white and green we've all had cards like that Oh man, our opponent is so slow. This could be a really long match. Challenge a raging river. That's unfortunate. That was our best card. And our best card's back. Go ahead and play the Mox Amber here in case we need to blink of an eye for some reason. Um, now we have like a reason to actually have the Mox Amber in play. Kalua King, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much, Kalua King. I appreciate that. Sub there. Sub 40. We got to sub 41 on the day. Oh, y'all are so amazing. Thank you so much. Most subs I've had in a day in a very long time.
Yeah, I was, I was planning on bouncing the 3-4 the there, as Defeating you can see. You will not bring pleasure. So Mu has a minus 8, right? Yeah, so we can get an emblem with just our island's tap to draw a card. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice emblem. Let's tick up first, though. The sky is my domain. We'll take an extra turn, bounce the Sanctum Seeker. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty nice emblem. Hey, Aku! How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do want lands. And islands are definitely good with this emblem. Open your mind to the possibilities of the cosmos. Heed my instruction and prepare for war. My students are loyal geniuses. All right, we'll have Nexus next turn. Got this blink of an eye ready if we want it. There you go. Cool, glad your League of Legends team is doing good and it's going well. Yeah, I've, even though like we lost our first two matches, you know we're re resetting here. I bestow, I've had fun with this. I've had fun playing this deck. All right, we'll keep Mu Yanling around. I will return with even more disciples. Dun, dun. All right, we definitely want to cast Learn some the Nexus first before starting to draw. I want to tap this for mana, tap this for mana, and cast. We want to shuffle this back into our deck. And now draw a card. Draw a card. Ooh, Jace is good. Um, minus three to make a four four. So I have nine. I have ten mana. Potentially, start with activating this thing. Huh? Don't get to actually play that this turn. Unfortunately, gotta wait till next turn. I've got them all figured out. Well, there we go. I don't double emblem doesn't do anything. It's just your islands have you just get two islands that, that both say islands you control have tap draw a card. That doesn't really help you. See, there's our deck doing stuff. Yeah, Tamio. Tamio's incredible. Tamio would be better in our deck than, like, Kasmina. Yeah, if we, if we wanted to make a Bant. Let's 
Let's get some melodies in here instead of Kasmina and a Sahili. For some melodies. Of course, if you add other colors, you're not going to have as many islands for Mu Yanling, but... Just don't see like that many monocolored decks with lots of basics and everything right now, and it's just a a nice deck to look at. I'm enjoying playing this deck, even if it may not be as good as playing multiple colors. <clears throat> hey, Thoral. So we've hit four sub goals today. <clears throat> we had nine sub goals so far since our last 12 hour stream. So that's gonna pump us pump us up to 13. I'm doing the 12 hour stream whenever we get to uh, Whenever we get to 20 sub goals. So now we're 13 out of 20. I'm going to update the info panel that says that too. So we're getting pretty close to another 12 hour stream. Getting pretty close there. Give me that. Yoink. Yeah, M20. The biggest thing that M20 brings to the format is has been Risen Reef. That's the That's the crazy good card that you get with M20. I'm kind of assuming Kefnet's going to get disparked. Like I feel like that's a card they have in hand. Oh, they have Mortify. Interesting. Interesting they didn't mortify the Ascanta. Yeah, Risen Reef is the thing from M20 of why Esper, current Esper, has really taken a downfall. All right, see, there we go. Picked up a win. Yeah, we're the vamp, we're the vamp deck now. Mono blue vampires. <laughs> GG's. I will right, we'll scry look for land. See, scry's, scry lands can be nice. That is a good point there, Matthew. 
that the less Esper it is, the better for that Mardu reanimation deck. Of course, the more counter spells there are, it's not that's not great for the reanimation deck. Though. You sure can, Re Resonant. Is this Esper? We haven't played against Esper in a long time. Nope, more vampires. We need Ascanta to grab lands. That's, that's all we're looking for with the Ascanta is to look for lands. Um, so, good thing we just put three lands to the bottom. That was not a good thing. Really, ideally, the Minus would have found Mox Amba. Ideally. Blood was my beginning. Welcome to the family. You cannot see your folly. That's not a land. That's not a land either. Hone your prowess. Hmm. Ugh. I will gladly point out your in I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer flaws. And Narset didn't really help us. My bloodline flows through you. Always room to improve. A durial on here. Okay, there you go. Now I got your message. There you go. Thank you. I think I think the pre-release code does I think that gets you a sealed thing. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. Okay, the the pre okay it just gives you six packs. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, I'll use that. I'll use that code here for you, Duriel. Yep, I'll I'll do that. I'll open it live. Thank you very much. Soren, of course, gives the creature death touch. But they didn't they didn't tick up Soren though. I guess so I guess they wanted to sacrifice? Okay. What is one life to save many? Boom. Uh no, decline.
I know 88 ways to meditate and prepare. This is not going to be the easiest game to win, admittedly. Sending a lot at Narset. I shall miss your company. I'm not going to stay alive here. Dang, this temple will actually really hurt us here. Not just being an island. That's really unfortunate. If that's like an island, I get to make one more blocker by playing the Ascanta first. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on the blink here for this turn to be able to make make a token with Sahili to be able to block. I mean, my opponent has lethal though. If, if we would have just had an island there, we could have could have barely stayed alive here. But the fact that that wasn't an island. Huh. Okay, yeah, so you have misplay, you have two codes to give away? Yeah, because if, if we had one more blocker, we could have, you know, blocked, blocked. Oh no, we would not have stayed alive. Never mind, we were taking actually exactly eight. Never mind. No, so we wouldn't have stayed alive either way. Ugh. Alright, bringing in our melodies. Cutting. I think I cut Kesminas and a Sahili last time. Those are cards that can do some work. Soren's a huge problem. Soren's very good. Yeah, Sahili is. Yeah, Sahili is not good. <laughs> it's not very good. I, I probably agree with you. It probably is the worst card in the deck. If, if you know, we'd play this with blue-white with Teferis, this is, we'd be taking out Sahili for Teferis. Uh, that being said, I do... Sahili could make some blockers for us here, though. Especially, like, Sahili with Mox Amber is better. Let's, let's go like this. Let's play a Manipulation, too. Um, okay, so misplay, you have two codes to give away. Um, if you, if you can think of any trivia question, misplay, if you have, you know, think of any kind of like magic trivia question, uh, that's usually a fun way to give. 
give them away and you know you can ask chat and first person that answers you can send them the code we don't we don't have any red in our deck this is just that's just a blue land that scries Now, if we draw a land next turn, we could like double spell, make a couple more one ones. That's really rude. Really rude. In case they put a counter on the Vanguard later, they wouldn't have to pay four life. So we'll do this now while they have to pay four life. Yeah, that was that was a huge blow. Not being able to play, you know, Dovin or Narset here. Also. Especially dove in. That's certainly been nice. That's weird. Y'all ever seen that? Let's let's just take this Adanto Vanguard and throw it away. Let's put it over here. Put it off the table. It's under the table now. Mind rot. Got us real bad. We live to fight another day. All right, so Sahili made two one ones and then died. Okay, all right, so the first code giveaway is what is my favorite guild to play? That should be an easy one. There you go, like a Zoe had it right first. It is Selesnia. Yep, Selesnia is my favorite guild. Yeah, the Chandra Tribal is up on YouTube. All the other videos are up on YouTube. Ugh. I've played a whole lot of Selesny in my day, especially in Modern and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't play that much Selesny in Standard. That's true. And recently, I haven't been playing a lot of Selesny. All the blue cards they've made in Standard are just really busted. Yeah, I'll have to go back to the drawing board and make a blue-white version of this deck. 
Wanted to, you know, wanted to try it out mono blue here, but I guess it should just be. I guess it's just going to be a lot more powerful with another color. I don't even know what that thing does. One, two, whenever it attacks, you make a one, one. Hmm. The focus and disquick thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, these, these Sahelis just aren't good. Ugh. So, looks like we'll have to replace Sahelis with to fairies and have white give us some real removal you know like if we have hers as ruinous blast our life would be a lot better you are a mighty warrior favorite streamer not named todd stevens corn lover called it the very first one there boot to the head it's flat dude spelled it correctly but corn lover hat was on the right track there right idea Boot to the head has been on, been on uh, the stream a couple of times. Keep them from drawing a card. Hmm. Guess I should have waited. Bounce this Vanguard after that. Behold new wonders. So we'll see if they kill Sahili or not. So yeah, misplay. Thank you so much for gifting out some of those codes there. That was really nice of you. Sahili has certainly been the most disappointing card that we've had, that's for sure. Do I want Spell Piercer and a Gate for this Boros deck? Probably not. <laughs> hey, hey, here's Awakening. GG's. Yeah, Moo Yanling. That's see, that's a lot better three drop. I'd need to have more Moo Yanlings in my deck. You know, this would act like that actually keeps them. You know, it does. It actually does something. It ticks up. Works towards that ultimate. One of the games we won is because we had Moo Yanling early, just playing a bunch of defense for us. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll keep Kasmina. I'd like to stay out of this, but I'll fight if I quell your temper. Reducing the power of Arcanist in particular is pretty nice. Don't get to recast anything from the graveyard. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Nah. I will lend you my strength. Give me that. I need a jump blocker. I am humbled by the sky's divine power. So I'm gonna have to jump block the Gideon with this Arcanist, and then you know be able to attack Gideon for four. Not quite enough to kill Gideon, of course. Hmm. Or we're just dead. You know, or that. Prepare for battle. I am not quite in the structure. Hmm. It's an instant too. Your light will cleave the darkness. Hopefully this works. Cause I kinda need to draw the card. Alright, good, no gods willing. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we don't ever get to steal the Gideon. The weak at every opportunity. I believe in you. But taking feather would be nice. We have five cards there. Give me that feather. Obviously they can kill the feather with the reckless rage, but that gets rid of their reckless rage and of course gets rid of their feather. I don't know. I don't really have a plan for the Gideon right now. I believe in you, friend. So we'll kind of see what happens here. Ooh, I do want this card. This is a problem. Oh, I should have kept that island on top, and then I could have just ditched the island, and then we would have drawn Jace. Kind of need Jace. Why can't I ditch this Kasmina earlier? My students are loyal and brilliant.
<laughs> yeah, Gideon's really cool. Share in my light. I like Gideon. All right, since they killed Kasmina, it means that I'm likely not going to die here. I have to flip Ascanta because otherwise they'll minus six and get rid of the the Ascanta. Prepare for battle. All right, we're gonna have to have really, really awesome couple turns here. We get the next two turns. I'm up for a challenge. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. We find Nexus. That's uh, not Nexus. Alright, Scry, looking for Nexus. That's not Nexus. Is playing like Kefnet Casmina, is that going to be good enough? No, that's not good enough. So bad start so far. It's not getting better. We need Nexus. This will come in handy. Okay. Karn's Temporal Sundering, of course, is also a very good draw as well. Um, so, yep, let's just cast this thing. To the howling winds. Perfect. That's a hit. I guess we should see if we hit Nexus first, because that does shuffle back. So let's before just casting this. Oh, I... Uh. Yeah, I mean, I should activate this before scrying. Of course, that was not... Not perfect. All right, get rid of that Gideon. Challenger raging. This is looking good. We're getting there. Down twenty eight cards. There's always an answer. So, you know, look for Nexus first. There's Nexus. New turn. We are doing it. It was like our last turn we could have, or like last card that we have almost. <laughs> My opponent is just sitting with two shocks in hand right now. Probably. Decisions, decisions, decisions. 
down to 21 cards. I think we got this now. Like I don't I don't think our I don't think we can I don't think we can miss anymore. Nah, we couldn't yeah, we couldn't miss anymore because we're gonna draw two more cards with Mu Yanling's emblem. And there we go. Cause we're down to twenty cards, we're about to mill ourselves out and minus eight, and you know we we're gonna be winning the game very very quickly there with uh with just Jace. So, let's see. Because mean is not too useful. Let's get this mass manipulation in here. All right, let's get a negate over the other one. Yeah, we went infinite. Yep. That's hard. Yep, that's working as intended. As you, you see how important that Jace was, why I had to keep it. Good old mono blue control. For the longest, that game didn't look like we were going to win, and we pulled it off, though. I don't I don't think Jace Cunning Castaway would be better than Sahili, I don't think. Probably just more more Dovins and Moo Yanlings though. Those would probably be better. Hmm. This is not ideal. Just the trick for this. The fast start there for the opponent. Not good for us. So do I want to steal the Arcanist or the Vanguard this next turn? It would be nice having, you know, like baffling ends or something like that, like actual removal spells. <laughs> Settle the wreckages. Nobody plays around Settle. Open mind. We need to find Mox Amber. That was the card that I really wanted to find. Well, darn. And that's lethal. That was fierce. <laughs> Thanks so much for that sub there, Fierce Awakening. I appreciate that. All right, we are defeated again. So not the, you know, not the best showing for our deck. But it was a cool little experiment. Um, definitely a cool experiment. Uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's use this code that Adriel sent me to crack some packs. We'll go ahead and do that here, real quick. Let's get let's get some packs. Uh, I guess we go to the store. Redeem code. Six arena packs. All right, we really want mythics. He's here. I have I have only have one mythic wild card left, and I need more Mu Yanlings and stuff. And we have plenty of rare. So, let's see if we get some mythics. Hopefully, two mythics. That's that would be awesome. 
We'll take one mythic. Zero mythics would be really disappointing. All right, not a mythic. O for one. O for two. We're warming up. O for three. This was a pre-release code that that was sent to me uh, by Aduriel. So this is not like a code that can be used for other people. It's just like a one a one-time code uh, that Aduriel got from going to a pre-release. All right, oh for four. Come on, Chandra. Where's our mythics at? There we go, Cavalier of Gales. We'll take it. All right, we got one out of six mythics. That's we said we would take that. We really want two. Let's see if we get a second one. Back to back. Eh, rare. All right, so we'll take we'll take the one. That was good there. All right, yeah, goo. So the reason why we got the ex the two extra turns is because the nexus is an instant, and I cast the nex the nexus during my opponent's turn. So during my opponent's turn. Then it says I get an extra I get an extra turn after this one. So then I got an extra turn. But then of course after my opponent's turn, it's my turn. So that's why I had that's why I got two turns in a row there that game whenever we did that. Um yeah, the Cavaliers really are taxing on the mythic wild cards. They they sure are. Um So yeah, try something new, try something a little different here. We didn't actually draw Mox Amber that often. You know, our deck's kind of built around Mox Amber with that, uh, our legends and taking turns and everything. Didn't actually draw Mox Amber that often, unfortunately. I would say that uh, Sahili and Kasmina were our worst cards. Uh, Kasmina being like, you know, if we're a blue-green being Tamiyo, but also just being colorless, just being Karn. Four mana Karn would have been a lot better than Kasmina. You know, being six loyalty and, and digging pretty fast also um but yeah it does seem that the blue white would be a better way to go gives you little teferi that uh protects you from counter magic gives you big teferi which with uh big teferi and jace gives you a lot of ways to you know gives you a lot of card draw there a lot of extra card draw unfortunately we never got to do kefnet and then reveal an extra turn spell i was really hoping we got to do that that was something i, I wanted to do pretty bad was you know kefnet uh you know, untap reveal, temporal sundering or something. Wanted to do that. That would have been awesome. Um, I started with Fibblethip in the list, but ended up cutting Fibblethip. Uh, but yeah, I started with Fibblethip here. But yeah, white would give us, you know, like actual actual removal uh, that we could play. So I'll have to go back to the drawing board, uh, give it another try. Um, but, you know... It was a cool deck to look at, though, with the Mono Blue. All right, so that's Mono Blue Legends. Hope you liked the deck. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. I'd appreciate that. Uh, but that's it here for Mono Blue Legends. Um, and I will see you for another video. Thank you so much for watching.